And here's this week's um, sneak peek of some sheets I'm going to have available. I skipped last week. It was too much things going on before Blade Show, and which was really awesome. If you guys ever get a chance to make it to Blade Show, I highly suggest it. And uh, we'll get right to this. So this is a 4-incher and a HPD-2. Both of these have the um, vertical horizontal belt loops. They are ambidextrous. Spider carving on that one. So this fit four inch blades. This fit three inch blades. I have a left handed hiking buddy and a right handed hiking buddy size inside the um, the pants in, inside the pocket. And while I'm on this, I want to show you something I picked up at, at Blade Show. This is um. I don't know what the model's called, but it's from Alpha Knives, Damon Lusky, who's uh, also here in Georgia. He worked for about a year at the Fiddleback and Fletcher Knives, and his style's going to be more for um, toward a Fletcher than it would be Andy's. And this is a really nice knife. It's going to be the size of a hiking buddy. I'll give you a compar comparison. Just a little bit different of a, instead of a spear, more of a belly. And this was three thirty seconds. Really lightweight. That that's not wood. That's a synthetic handle. Really nice edge on it, and it does fit the. So you guys look up. Uh, he might have something on blade forms. Pretty sure he does. Alpha knives. Damon Lusky. Some runt sheaths with these are titanium clips. I thought they were stainless steel, but I did some testing on one. They're they're titanium. So green thread and then the butterscotch tiger thread that I've been using here lately. Four inch scout pouch. This one does have some scarring on it. Natural range scars. This one has a couple of them. This one's really um, heavy with the, like this cow must have ran through a barbed wire fence. And one with uh, green stitching, cordovan green stitching. Scout pouches for the three inch blades. I have four of those. This is going to be a little bit more of a walnut tan instead of just the regular walnuts. A more of a red hue to it. And I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, and the reason being is they, they take twice as long, three times as long sometimes on a regular sheet to make. This is a Bush Scout sheath. It's a three-part modular sheath. You can you can run it without the vertical strap and run it as a uh, as a scout um, horizontal on your body instead of vertical. You can take the uh, the top pouch off, which I have. You can put a little survival kit in or a, a sharpening stone. It will hold uh, stone at the at minimum uh, one by four. But it's a little bit larger than that. It's almost almost one and a half inches interior, and it does switch out from left to right. These T nuts here just have to be. If you take the the snaps off, flip the T nuts to the other side, and assemble it back again, and it turns a right-handed sheath into a left-handed sheath. And it does have a spot for a, a ferro rod. <clears throat> and I will um, put some 550 cord on it. And that's all we have for the week.